Now, recently I was on a flight with this very airplane, an Airbus A380 by Lufthansa, and I had the worst landing I ever had in an airplane. I mean, look at it. Not really butter. Not really the smoothest landing right there, right? I mean, look at that face. Yeah, perfect. Yes. I mean, by the way, the A380, especially on Lufthansa's fleet, is definitely starting to age. Look at the camera quality we got here. This is the tail camera. This is the ground camera. This is uh, the forward camera. I can track all the cameras on the takeoff because I had a row all to myself. I mean, I do appreciate a good camera view from a 20-year-old camera on a 20-year-old LCD screen here. You can definitely see a lot. But I mean, the landing was just insanely bad. And anytime I flew the Airbus A380, I had this very thing happen. Which is something that people say online as well. Is the A380 a hard lander? I've flown on this terrific aircraft around 25 to 30 times now. I can recall maybe one landing that was maybe almost a greaser, but virtually all others have been near neck snappers. Why are landings on the Airbus A380 so harsh? Question mark. And we know tons of clips of A380 struggling to land smoothly. Here is the classic Dusseldorf hard crosswind landing. Come on, come on, let's take a look. This is now actually an interior view. Oh my goodness, that was uh, quite a landing in deep. Wow, this plane is shaking around, everybody. Okay, not not the best. I love the A380 and I go out of my way to fly on it, which means I've got plenty of anecdotal evidence to call upon. And yes, they seem to like dramatic arrival. Plenty of controlled crashes. <laughs> So today, let's go ahead and find out why are landings sometimes so hard on the Airbus A380? Can I smoothly land this airplane at all? And I'm picking a Reiner livery for a reason. Well, this joke is dead now. And I mean, it would make sense. The Airbus A380 is the largest and heaviest airliner in the world. It needs plenty of runway to stop. And in order for the braking systems to become active, these wheels need to notice that they've touched down. Yes, most of the time, a firm landing doesn't mean a bad landing at all. It's about stopping safely. It makes sense then to land this heavy airliner pretty hard in order to stop properly in time. So let's go ahead and do this now. We have a bit of a mild crosswind, which, as you may know, is a bit of a killer for this plane after all. We've got a lot of attacking surface vertically for wind to crash into us, which uh, is very much what happened on this infamous landing. Then we're landing on a runway that's maybe a little short here, but we're going to put the auto brake to a max position now. Okay, come on, Airbus A380 coming in for butter landing. You can do it. I've got trust in you. Uh, it's just that the flub out wire is just, it's, it's very 50, indirect. 40, oh. 30, 20, 10, 5. And I do a sh I didn't even mean to do that. God damn it. Yeah, this plane is notoriously hard to land on the Microsoft flight. No, I killed everybody. God damn it. Let's try again. Okay, no you're okay. You're okay. No let's just do a smooth no approach, sink. okay? No Runway's in front of us. No Nothing sink. should happen. Shut no up with your sink. don't sink. No we got to make sure to have a little bit of speed no on us. Sink. Okay, let's no keep it calm. No let's keep sink. it calm. You're okay. No you're fine. Sink. All right, let's, no let's land her now. Let's no land her smoothly. Sink. 30, no sink. No sink. Aha, uh -huh. much better. There we go. We we're able to touch it down quite smoothly. We haven't even touched down yet. And still, this was a standard landing, although I floated so, so much. I mean, the reversers are applied, and also the auto brake is able to stop the plane very, very quickly. That was still kind of hard. Yes, I've always had a hard time landing this airplane smoothly, but I do have to say, 300 feet per minute, the landing we just did, on a normal big airliner, like an A330 or a 777, don't, doesn't really feel hard, mostly because they have tilted landing gear that's able to really feather off these landings. These big landing gears, on the other hand, are not really tilted. Maybe the actual landing gear legs right here aren't very long. In fact, they're quite close to the fuselage if we compare it to other airliners. That might be a reason. There is not a lot of substance to feather off the landings overall, right? And so even this landing that looked kind Kinda of smooth from the outside was, you know, we heard quite a bit of a sound here. 
coming into the cockpit. That might be actually this. But I think I have another reason why some people report the A380 lands a bit hard sometimes. And the reason may just be the high automation of the Airbus A380. See, right now we're flying into London. We're relatively high speed, but you can see both of the autopilot systems are on and the approach mode is on. Yes, the Autoland system of the A380 is on. And I've always, you know, kind of figured that the Autoland systems on airplanes are kind of harsh. Their point is not to impress everyone on board with a 100 feet per minute landing. No, the point is to be able to bring down the airplane in a case where the pilots cannot land. Now, autopilot landings don't happen every time, but they do happen sometimes. And I believe they would happen a lot on planes like the A380 after a long flight. You wouldn't really want to deal with landing the plane yourself, you know what I mean? Um, so let's go ahead and put the speed to like 140 knots or so and have the airplane land itself and just see. I want to find out how does this plane perform? We've got barely any winds here. This is perfect conditions to do a nice landing. The brakes are nicely set to low. Everything is good. The plane is flying better than I flow more smoothly. All we have to do, kind of do is monitor the autopilot really now. So come on, because we're trusting this autopilot, we're going to go outside view now just to check this out. Come on, do it smoothly. Do a nice landing here at London. Okay, looking good so far. Looking great. Okay, coming down onto the runway. Not a bad look so far. And we're reducing thrust to get a flare going on. No, that was... Wait, that was smoother than my landing! Alright, edit that out. Edit that out. We... Um, oh. Mm. And now the airplane breaks itself, too. Huh. Hmm. Uh, there's an A320 floating here for some reason. All right, let's do one final challenge. I actually want to land this plane as smoothly as possible. Yes, to summarize the problem of the A380, it probably doesn't have a problem. Yes, it's true. Maybe landings are a bit harder on a heavy like this that needs to stop on a runway and hit the touchdown zone quickly. But I feel like landings just feel harder on this plane overall because of the forward tilted landing gear as well. I mean, the 767 right here is known for hard landings that has four forward uh, facing landing gears too. So it might not even be the actual landing force, but how you pick it up as passenger. I mean, for example, I in my clip was sitting all the way in the back, which famously lets you feel more of the forces the airplane gets, like whether it's turbulence or hard landing, especially on a large airplane like this that has quite the leverage, you know, just the, just the size alone. So that was probably the reason why landings might feel harder on this plane. Doesn't matter now, it's time to land this airplane as smoothly as possible. Let's take our time on this long runway and try to see if we can get a below 100 feet per minute landing. Uh, nicely, we are landing this plane good. Look at the ailerons dancing around. Okay, we've got slight crosswind, which we can definitely feel on this plane very quickly. Let's go ahead and use all that runway. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, uh, come on! I really- go I used all the runway for this! Ah, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the A380. No, it's not a butter machine, but as you can see, it's stopping in no time. So if you want to experience butter landings on a plane, you should rather do the A330 or 777 or so. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.